Trevor was a dear friend of mine, and as anyone that knows him um, knows, he was also very unique. He had a perspective and curiosity about the world that was unmatched by anybody else and very different from everybody else. Um, and he had this strong urge to really figure out life, not just live it, but to like really understand its purpose beyond just, you know, having all these social connections and just enjoying life. Um, one of my earliest and fondest memories of Trevor was the Trevor hug. And anyone that's had a hug from Trevor knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's like being enveloped in the arms of an octopus. Um, he had a way of making awkward things like those strange hugs seem normal. And um, I, I think that was really awesome. Um, he was always a very intelligent observer of people. He would just kind of take the silent watching role um, which kind of gave him the strength of being able to cue in at just the right time with some sort of clever joke that would always make people laugh. Um, he also had this energetic and childlike vigor that, uh, you know, he would just, he would scale any obstacle, accept any, um, any challenge of dexterity or just do random things that seemed like um, they could be fun, um, where everybody else would just kind of be like, oh, whatever, it looks like it'd be fun and just move on. Um, and it really made, it really made life more exciting. Um, I had the privilege of being his roommate for around two years. Um, and that's when I learned, well, I guess I learned before it, but um, that's when I really learned that his biggest passion seemed to be journaling. He would spend, oh, I don't know, on average four hours a day journaling, it seemed. Um, and sometimes he'd spend over six or eight or even 10 hours and very rarely less than an hour. Um, but when he wasn't journaling, I've had, I had the opportunity to talk with him on several occasions and we'd talk about anything and everything. Nothing was too big or too small. Um, friends, blessings and, and struggles of this life, um, or his favorite topic, which any guy would really like, girls. Um, but it wasn't all just, you know, for the sake of chat. He, uh, he was, he was a really good friend. He, he had a listening ear when people needed it most. Um, I, I've, I've been blessed to have, um, his, his support, um, on so many occasions. Um, and while he didn't really understand people all that well, Trevor really did have a love for, for those people that were close to him in his life. Um, all, his, all of his friends can probably appreciate that uh, Trevor's second favorite activity was probably trying to convince his friends to eat durian, which if you've never heard of it before, I'd suggest looking it up. It does not look appealing at all. Um, but in all the times that I've been able to talk with Trevor, we've had hundreds or possibly even thousands of debates. Um, and I'd hate to say that he was always right, but... Uh, when you only win once or twice in a thousand, um, and those one or two times it's on a technicality or on uh, a misunderstanding where we end up saying the exact same thing, it's hard to say otherwise. Uh, most people that don't really know Trevor all that well would probably describe him as being bizarre, quirky, odd, strange, or weird. I would just describe him as being Trevor. He's increased my vocabulary through the countless conversations we've had and the countless corrections that, he, that he's made on my misuse of words. And um, in all that time, there's no word that I've found to be better than, than just Trevor. Um, he's Trevor in our hearts, and just as he was Trevor in our lives. I look forward to the day when, in the life hereafter, when I'll get to see him again and be wrapped up in his awkwardly familiar hug. Trevor, I love you. I miss you. I'll never forget the fun that we had. God be with you till we meet again, brother. <laughs>